Let's have a closer look at the hardware and software integration of this DVL. This is what it looks like on the X3. It's easily mounted underneath with this uh, bracket. We also added uh, a new foot in the front to give protection for the, for the sensor. And these legs in the back maintains its stability when standing upright. What's good about the water-linked DVL is its size, obviously. You see how well it fits with the, with the overall size of this vehicle. This is important for maintaining the, the hydrodynamic uh, features of the drone. You can also see the, the cable is just a simple cable going up to the guest board connector. With this blue eye smart connector, you just plug it in and the system knows that now a DVL is connected and can automatically give you new features such as station keeping and auto altitude. So when you have the DVL connected to the drone, all you have to do is to power it on and open the Blue Eye app. Once you get into the dive view, you will see a new digit in the lower left corner, which is uh, showing you the distance to the seafloor. This is what we call the altimeter. Once you have a reading there, you can always activate auto altitude by hitting the A button two times. That means you can maintain a distance of, let's say, two meters to the sea bottom, and you can follow a pipe from 10 meters depth and all the way to 20 or 40 meters as it gets uh, deeper and deeper. This is great for maintaining uh, uh, the same distance to the seabed to capturing more stable video, or if you are using a multi-beam sonar, you'll also get more stable uh, image on the sonar. And what's new now is that you can, uh, once you place the drone in the water, it will give you the option to click the B button twice and then you will activate the new function, which is called station keeping. With station keeping, the drone will maintain its position relative to the seafloor, even though you have strong currents from any direction. You can also seamlessly move to a new location by just using the joysticks as normal. And once you let go of the joysticks, the station keeping will keep you at that exact position. Auto altitude is also possible to get by just uh, using a different sensor. This is the Blue Robotics uh, 1D pinger. So that's uh, basically an uh, echo sounder that uh, measures the distance to the seafloor. But it does not provide you with uh, velocity measurements such as the DVL. So this is a much uh, easier way to get the auto altitude feature, but uh, of course you won't get either position or dynamic positioning. We also have a, a new diagnostics screen. So if you click the top right corner, you will see a detailed view with the, the local position estimates and the, also the global position together with a small map that shows you the GPS position of your phone and also the drone. So you can see how these are uh, being plotted. In this view, you can also reset the position if you want to move to another location or you could uh, reset the odometer, which is uh, basically a tool that you can use to measure a distance on the seabed. So you want to go 10 meters from point A to point B, or you want to measure the, the length of a pipe. You can always reset, reset this, the counter, and then you can uh, keep going. After you've done your inspection, you can basically hit sync log files, and then go to the dive tab and uh, select the, the correct dive. Here you'll see an option to edit the both headline and description and you can uh, 
easily hit the share button and create a KML or a KMZ file. These files can be easily shared to anyone via email or send it to a Dropbox folder and uh, then you can continue working with this file on, on, a, on your computer. Let's uh, try to share this file to uh, my laptop. Now the file is generated. I hit the share airdrop to my laptop. And let's see. Yeah, it's already here. All I have to do now is open downloads, double click the file. And by default it opens in Google Earth. And now you see this <laughs> dramatic zoom in to the location and we can easily navigate in this world. I get a good overview of the inspection. So this is a pipe inspection from, uh, from the cleaning facilities of the municipality. You can see that we're taking some pictures going from the shallow and deeper and deeper. So here it's at 12 meters depth. And then we can take the, the end of the pipe, which is at 23 meters. You also get info such as the altitude and the date that it was recorded. And if you had other sensors that could also be on the overlay. So what's great about this is that it's really easy to see where the different findings were on, on uh, where they are located on, on the object. And it's also super easy to send this file to another program or maybe you have a more um, sophisticated uh, GIS tool that uh, is used to coordinate different uh, projects. For instance, in search and rescue, it's important to know which areas that have been covered and maybe there are many different parties that are trying to, to work together and then it's uh, important to know how you can stitch these uh, tracks together. All right, I hope you liked this overview of the integration both hardware and software of the new DVL with station keeping and auto altitude, also the position data. I hope you got some new ideas on how you could use this in your day-to-day -day work. Thanks for watching.